The latest WikiLeaks cables depict Russia as a mafia state where corruption is rampant and criminals are protected by the police. The cables also contain accusations that Russia's Prime Minister Vladimir Putin has amassed a fortune through illicit proceeds and hides the wealth overseas. But as the revelations continue, so too does the backlash against WikiLeaks. And tonight, Sweden's highest court has refused permission to WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange to appeal against an arrest order issued over alleged sexual crimes. Peter Lloyd reports. What kind of Russia does Vladimir Putin preside over? A Spanish mafia-busting judge, Jose Gonzalez, quoted in a US diplomatic cable, paints a picture of astonishing corruption. The judge claims that Russia has become a virtual mafia state, so that one can't differentiate between the activities of the government and organized crime groups. And the strategy is to use OC, or organized crime groups, to do whatever the government of Russia can't acceptably do as a government. The judge describes as accurate the thesis of the poison spy Alexander Litvinenko of links between Russian intelligence and the mafia. It's all slander, said Prime Minister Putin during a CNN Larry King interview where he suggested there was an anti-Russian conspiracy afoot. Some experts believe that... Somebody is uh, deceiving WikiLeaks, uh, their reputation being undermined to use uh, them for their own political purposes later on. That's one of the possibilities there, and that's the opinion of the experts. The WikiLeaks founder is coming under increasing pressure. Amazon has stopped hosting the WikiLeaks website on its US servers, and reports say he remains in the UK, where police are awaiting instructions before arresting him on behalf of Swedish prosecutors investigating his alleged rape of a woman in August. Julian has nothing to hide. His main interest is to vindicate his name. Julian Assange spoke to Time magazine from an undisclosed location. He dismissed Hillary Clinton's claim that he's putting lives at risk, saying she should quit over leaked cables showing U.S. diplomats spied on foreign diplomats at the United Nations. She should resign uh, if it can be shown that she was responsible uh, for ordering U.S. Uh, diplomatic figures to engage in espionage activities at the United Nations. At the State Department, they're calling Assange an anarchist. He is calling for... Uh, the secretary to step down at a time where he is trying to evade an active warrant by Interpol. The secretary of state, by contrast, is in, in Kazakhstan, engaged directly with global leaders, working to solve the world's challenges. Here, the federal police are still trying to work out if any Australian laws have been broken by the Australian-born whistleblower. I have been receiving briefings and we have a whole process to go through, you know, all of this information, I mean, you know, millions of uh, pieces of information and assess the implications for us. So we'll work through that. Uh, and, you know, I absolutely condemn uh, the placement of this information on the WikiLeaks website. It's a grossly irresponsible thing to do and an illegal thing to do. The White House has set up a special panel to assess the damage and find new ways to protect America's secrets. Peter Lloyd, Late Line.